74 years ago, these suits sparked a week of brutal riots in Los Angeles. They're called Zoot Suits and were first popularized in the 1940s by African-American jazz musicians like Cab Calloway. They were meant to be flashy and loud, but they were also intentionally loose-fitting to allow for easy movement on the dance floor. The trend spread from jazz musicians to the nightclubs of Harlem to sock-hopping teens in Chicago. They finally made it all the way across the country to California, where the zoot suit was the preferred dress of pachucos. Mexican-American youths with their own distinctive style. During World War II, the public perception of the suits changed. The War Preparedness Board put restrictions on the amount and kind of fabric used for anything other than the war efforts. With all their extra fabric and flash, zoot suits were seen as extravagant and deemed unpatriotic. The Pachucos refused to change their look and quickly became the target of racially motivated attacks. And all that became a lot worse after a high-profile murder case in the summer of 1942. On August 1st, the body of Jose Diaz was found near the Sleepy Lagoon Reservoir. He had been beaten and stabbed. A group of Pachuco youths were arrested, and 22 of them were put on trial for the murder. To ensure the jury viewed them as gang members, the prosecution successfully argued that the defendants shouldn't be allowed to change out of their zoot suits. 17 of them were found guilty, but after a series of appeals, all 17 were released from prison, and the murder of Jose Diaz remains a mystery. At this point, negative depictions of Pachucos had been appearing in the press because of the trial and their supposedly unpatriotic attire. Tensions were high, and the situation came to a head when thousands of American servicemen were given shore leave in California before being sent to the Pacific Front. Sailors and the Chicano youth were easy to spot in their respective uniforms, and fights between the two groups broke out across California. On June 3rd, Mass hysteria erupted as thousands of white servicemen hunted zoot suitors in local hangouts. They beat them up, stripped them, and burned their flamboyant attire. Communities of blacks and Filipinos were also targeted. The LAPD did little to intervene, and even encouraged the violence, with the support of local press who reported sensationalist and false stories. As the riots made national news, First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt expressed concern in her daily column, My Day. The question goes deeper than just zoot suits. It is a racial protest, and we do not always face these problems as we should. Finally, on June 8th, everything calmed down. Servicemen were confined to their barracks and prevented from crossing LA city limits. No one was killed, but over 500 Mexican youths were arrested, and most servicemen escaped with impunity. The LA City Council made wearing a zoot suit in LA City streets punishable by jail sentence. Zoot suits remained a part of Mexican-American culture and inspired a cultural renaissance that helped influence the formation of the 1960s Chicano movement. After all, zoot suiters demanded to be seen, a bold political statement in the face of bigotry, cultural oppression, and injustice. And in typical Pachuco fashion, they did it with style.